Hi. In this video, we are going to talk about how to assign a preset to one of Mecca's buttons, using the user interface. The purpose of assigning a preset to a button, is to be able to execute the preset at any time, without accessing the user interface. To assign a preset to a button, you need to access the user interface, with either a computer or a device such as a phone or tablet. We are going to create a preset, using the test132 preset as a template. Click the load button to load it. If your preset is already created, you can skip this step. If you want to create a preset for a specific focal length, select the custom option from the shots list and enter the focal length. 24 millimeters in our example. Then click the OK button. To modify the script created automatically by Mecca, click in this text area and, for example, enter L, level, instead of P, parked. One Zenith shot instead of two. And one Nader shot instead of two. Click the Save button to save this preset. Give it a name. and click the OK button. The info field is not required. Press the OK button again. This is the preset we've just created. If your preset is already created, select it and load it using the load button. Now click the save one button, to assign the current preset to the Mecca one button. Click the OK button to overwrite the old preset assigned to this button. Give it a name. It can be any name. And click the OK button. Notice that the presets assigned to buttons are displayed at the top of the presets list. You can load this preset as you load any preset, meaning you select it and click the load button, where you can click the load one button. If you want to assign the current preset to the two button, press the save two button. Similarly for three, a preset assigned to a button can be used at any time later, without accessing the user interface. Power on Mecha dual axis combo, preferably the lower unit first. Then the upper unit. The upper rail, in our case, is in the parked position. And the preset requires level, so we are going to perform a simple 90 degree rotation to rotate the upper rail in the level position. You can skip this step if you set the parked starting position in the preset script. To execute the preset assigned to the one button, press the one button, then either the left or right button, to specify the direction of rotation. The middle row first. Then the down row at a tilt of minus 49 degrees. Then the up row at a tilt of 49 degrees. While the preset is running, if necessary, press the left arrow button for about one second, 
on the lower mecha, to enter pause mode, then either press the right arrow button to continue in step-by-step -step mode, or press the left arrow button to continue normally. You can also press the power button to cancel. This is the zenith shot. And this is the nadir shot. Thank you for watching.